And when you give your all, your life, your all, when people say, oh, they gave their all. Yeah, that's when you become superhuman. That's where we're watching on the podiums. To feel yourself in a place of peace and ease all the time. This world is irrelevant. Your connection is the most important. When you are connected, you see the evidence of that in this world show up in miraculous ways. And that's the truth of this. We bring it from the truth into this world of lack and limitation and finiteness, and we find ourselves more resourceful and are capable here. So I'm, I'm going to give you one of the biggest mind benders in the world of uh, transcending limited belief. There's a place in the Course in Miracles where it's pretty adamant about this is a, a phase of learning that you have to learn as someone who's awakening to a real, true, spirited and miraculous life. And that is what you give, you receive. And in the world of typical human behavior, what we give, we lose. If I give up my car, I'm not going to have a car. If I give away all my money, I'm not going to have any money. In the world of the miraculous, what this means is that feel this, feel the ones who wholeheartedly are giving who they are. You get more of that and it's contagious for the people around you. If you are giving love, truly, genuinely giving love, you get more love. If you are giving peace, you get more peace. If you are giving sanity, you get more sanity. The world can be one big call for insa insanity. And instead you show up knowing, oh, that's a call for love. I'm going to give love here. And then you diffuse a volatile situation right away. But if you look at the world for the answers, you're not going to find it. So what you give, you get more of. Here's another mind bender from A Course in Miracles. To have all, give all, to all. And I remember speaking to a client of mine about this and they were like, you know, I can, I can believe a lot of what you're saying, Maureen, and I can see the effects of it in my life. And I can watch how different my life is now that I'm miraculously oriented. And I watch miracles happen all the time. But this one, to have all, give all, to all, that one just doesn't sit right with me. Like I got kids and I have a house and I have a mortgage to pay. And if I'm giving all to, to all, then that's not going to be my experience of flourishing for very long. And I said, who's all? If you are seeing the divine as all, to have all, give all to all. Now replace that with the divine. To be divine, give the divine. What's divine? your true self, to have all, all is divine. It's the, the beings, all the beings, the divine beings. If you give your life to the divine, you're going to have all of it. You can't lose anything by giving what you truly are to the divine. And when you give your all, your life, your all, when people say, oh, they gave their all, yeah, that's when you become superhuman. That's where we're watching on the podiums, getting the gold medals. They gave their all. But if they did it between them and their divine selves, they give their all, then that's when we become more than we believe ourselves to be. That's when limiting beliefs are nothing. The lie of limitation and lack is nothing.